What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Shyhammer Fantasy Battle Reports, and I got another battle report for you today. This is Dice Dojo Round 3. Now, guys, um, sorry it's been taking me a while to download this, up, or upload this video, excuse me, uh, record it, really. Uh, but basically, what ended up happening was I ended up doing uh, Round 1 and Round 2, and then I just kind of forgot to do Round 3. I've been having a very busy week at work, and then I, uh, last weekend was the uh, Corner Hammer GT. So I did that, and that kind of just kind of gave me a little spark to, to put under my ass to start doing videos again. Yeah, I know. It's been wild. I know. I know you guys hate me. They're like, oh, James Shyhammer hasn't been doing any videos. What's going on? You suck, James. Anyways, I don't give a flying fuck. We're going to go ahead and make this video, and I'm going to show you what happened in this game. This is a game against round three against me versus Nick, Nick Creep uh, from the forums. And uh, he is a good buddy of mine, part of the Juice Crew. Anyways, here's a picture of Nick. Yep, I know, it's a very impressive picture. I know. Anyways, let's go over what I have on the table. Let's go over what Nick has on the table, and let's go over. This is actually for all the marbles. I actually gave out a um, tournament prize on top of the fact that Fergus, since he ran, quote, end quote, ran the tournament, uh, he uh, gave out some prize support. So there's a cash prize as well as a King Koopa dice in the surprise. And anyways, uh, that being said, let's go over what we have. So uh, over here I got my uh, Gargantula Spider. This is actually my general. This is King Chicken Head on top of the Chicken Rock, the Space Rock. Uh, he actually has the Dragon Breath, uh, Dragon Staff or whatever it's called, and the, the Shady Shanking Swords. Um, over here I got Bash of the Pyromaniac. And then over here I got the K-Pack. Got five Wolf Riders. I got six boar boys uh mounted ed bashers um over here i got 30 i think just 30 uh feral orc ed bashers and that's just because i forgot that you could get more than 30. um over here i got a giant and uh that's it i want to go ahead and line up like so uh we're gonna go over what nick has in a minute and uh and todd has uh here's a picture of todd actually todd actually uh <laughs> is showing you the prizes that is potential to win and uh spoiler warning todd won it he won a Koopa Dice, and he won a Dice Dojo $20 gift certificate. Anyways, <laughs> that being said, it was uh, it was really up to this game right here between Nick and myself, and I believe Nick had a chance to uh, win. If he won big and Todd won uh, a big loss, that Nick could have won it all. But that being said, neither one of those things happened. Anyways, on the left, it looks like a giant uh, block of six chariots. I want to say that's what it was. Uh, so the Undying Dynasties and Chariots. Uh, Nick is a Undying Dynasties player, a UD player. In the middle, he has a Shopti. Guys, there's a Shy Ambulance. First one of the day. I actually told my client today, I was like, oh, I'm going to record a video. And she goes, oh, really? How many ambulances do you think are going to be on the video? And right when she said that, there was an ambulance passing by. Anyways, um, in the back, Nick has a casket. He has a... a Archer Bunker with a couple wizards, and then on the right he has this Scarab Swarm thing from a bobber. Uh, so uh, we're going to go to turn one. Turn one, I actually took the first turn, and I believe we might be playing hold the center still. I don't remember which the scenario is. It could be breakthrough. I don't really remember, but I, as you can see, I started moving the, the, the actual boar boys to the flank over there just for the hell of it. <clears throat> over here, um, as you can see, I have... Uh, I just took the hill, I took the center, uh, and then I kind of like having the general on a big monster because it has a huge leadership bubble, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, that's all that really happened. Uh, for magic, which I found a better way to do this than, than what I just did right now, but I got five dice, uh, goddamn a lot of tokens, and I'm going ahead, it doesn't look like it did much in magic, and I had witchcraft on this, on this, uh, no, I had pyromancy, I definitely had pyromancy here, um, uh, but I switch it, um, I, I kind of, after this game, I kind of made another list, and uh, that's the one I took to um, Corner Hammer, and uh, the magic is a little bit more potent, and I actually have a better way to take pictures of it. I don't have cards made yet. I was still planning on making the cards. Things take time. Please be patient with me. But once the cards are made, you guys who are on my Patreon will definitely get those cards made. Anyways, let's go over turn one. Turn one uh, for 
the Undying Dynasties. Nick is going ahead and measure up how far it is to charge into my general. That's what he's doing in this picture. So he's going to go ahead and take that charge with the freaking chariots. And boom! He gets in with the chariots. And as you can see, if you can look closely, all his horses are knocked over. That's because that's what's going to happen when you run into the chicken rock. Anyways, I don't really care. I kind of drew it out on purpose. I was like, dude, my, my general is a boss. He is T6. He has not only the spider attacks, but also chicken heads attacks. And on top of that, he's going to take DTs and I'm stubborn in the woods. I don't really give a flying fuck. Um, Scarab Swarms charge into my savages and they get in. Boom! Over here. And that fucking damn scorpion's coming up the flank. Um, over here, as you can see, he's going to go into close combat. I don't think much happened in magic. Uh, close combat. He puts up, holy shit! Seven wounds. Seven. Seven fucking wounds. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even think I put that many wounds back. But uh, what ended up happening was... Uh, did he have rerolls to wound or something? I don't even know how he got seven wounds. Holy shit. But uh, I stick because I'm stubborn. I only have like one or two re wounds remaining. And uh, that's going to be ugly. Over here, close combat. This is part of my problem here uh, I, I this is a afterthought by the way i made this list without even thinking that i had a goblin bunker i had no goblin bunker so baxter was sniped out of the unit <laughs> God damn it. and uh my savages just ripped apart the, sh the scarabs and uh the, the savages are free this is gonna be a fast game guys uh so turn two orcs and goblins turn two orcs and goblins uh i'm gonna go ahead and charge the giant into his chariots I'm going to charge the K-Pack into that Scorpion, and I'm going to charge the Savages around the Scorpion into the flank of his Chariots. Um, I move his dogs to chaff, or I move my dogs to chaff his Shopti, and uh, that's exactly what happens. Um, over here, close combat, uh, right here, Chariots destroy his Scarab, they end up doing two wounds, but he ends up popping. Over here, close combat, <laughs> oh man. He didn't have a chance. He had all six chariots, too. But he didn't have a chance. I freaking pop him. Boop. Gone. And, uh, yeah. That's basically where that's going to be right there. I go ahead and I turn around face this way. My general doesn't have to get in combat anymore. All I have to do is stop, like, one or two magic spells that might kill my general. But my savages and my giant are free to go ahead and just terrorize. And then it's going to start off his turn. Uh, Undying Dynasty's turn two. Undying Dynasty's turn two. He charges his shop into my dogs. And my dogs take it like a champ. Uh, his casket goes ahead and shoots my spider. No! It <laughs> killed the chicken rock. No. Uh, over here. Um, he puts two wounds onto my giant. And uh, my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn three. Orcs and Goblins turn three. I go ahead and I charge this the feral orcs into his shop D and the giant as well and boom I get in uh, he swings first I think because because and uh, he just destroys the back rows of my savages I just take them look I mean they I swear to god ever since I started playing with savage orcs I swear to god they just die in waves in waves and I just pulled off like 14 or 15 dead bodies I did quite a few wounds back though and um this is going to become a grind fest. Um, he's going to go start off turn three on Dying Dynasties. Turn three on Dying Dynasties. He doesn't really do much. As you can see, my Feral Orc uh, Boar Boys are coming up the flank over there. And uh, so are my Chariots. My Chariots are getting in position for future charges. Uh, but um, he goes ahead and he continues to kill my Savages. He's just ripping them apart. I'm trying to get some back, but he's getting his back by uh, magic. Uh, so, uh, it's gonna go ahead and start off turn four, whoever's turn four this is, and I do a long bomb charge. He did not see, uh, he kind of saw it. He tried to take his wizards out, but he just did it slightly wrong. And my boar boys, boom, get into the flank of his archers. And he's like, shit, he really couldn't get away from this. He couldn't. But he goes ahead and he moves his, um, wizards. So that way I overrun into one, then I overrun into the other, but at this point, this is a very dangerous situation for him. Um, I go ahead and I move the K-Pack like so, and uh, my Savages and my Giant are going to continue holding his Shopti. Shopti eventually just go ahead and kill my Savages. I have two Savages remaining, but he goes ahead and I'm still fighting with the, the Giant. Um, over here, close combat, I just destroy the Archer Bunker, but I go ahead and I get to the first Wizard. And uh, it's going to go ahead and start off his turn on Dying Dynasty's turn 4. On Dying Dynasty's turn 4, he continues to fight the giant. 
and the giant is continuing to hold the freaking line uh, and as you can see my boar boys continue just ramming and ramming and ramming his guys he tries to do this move you can see in this picture here he tries to do this move where his main uh, hierophant or whatever it's called uh, hides behind the casket so I'd have to overrun into the casket but one thing he didn't realize the one thing you didn't realize you'll see it in the next picture um, oh over here close combat sorry close combat he made my giant run my giant continues to run away I don't know what happened to my chariots I think my chariot got hit by a uh, casket spell anyways the one thing that happens here is as you can see I have line of sight of his hierophant but I don't have to charge through his casket I'm gonna declare a charge he doesn't have a charge reaction because he's undead and I gotta go ahead and go forward and then turn and clip his guy and once that once he saw that could happen that was pretty much it uh, he charged my chariots here in the flank with the freaking scorpion I don't even know how that happened um, what happened here uh, oh I think I was just lazy so I charged into his hierophant his hierophant dies I go ahead and I reform but I was too lazy to turn the model so I said dude they're facing the the, the ass of the scorpion so he d sees that I go ahead and I ch uh, charge the scorpion get in and uh, over here my two last two savages die over here my boar boys kill his freaking um, scorpion and uh, yeah that's about it he should start crumbling and shit that's about it yep and, oh and the last shot of the game is my k-pack my k-pack's gonna go ahead and charge into his remaining shop D and uh, I believe I get in and if he doesn't crumble to death I end up killing him off but it's a massive win for the or not even a massive win it was a sl small win for the orcs and goblins but like I said Todd wins because Todd um, needed me to uh, needed Nick to get a massive win and Todd to lose to, to get it but that didn't happen um, pretty much all the undying dynasties are dead my ONG have the objective which I think it was might have been king of the hill might have been hold the center I don't remember this is like a couple weeks ago and uh, yeah that's about it uh, MVP for this game is probably my boar boys and it's actually as I'm making this battle report it's making me want to put my boar boys back out there on the table because they did a good job taking out a little bunker like that um, they, they don't really have much purpose other than that <laughs> uh, as I told uh, a couple of the guys in the rules team while we were talking about orc and goblin rules I said the best thing that, or that boar boys could do is kill other boar boys <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of stick to that statement, but um, it's kind of interesting to see them just tear apart a uh, uh, archer bunker in this video. Uh, I kind of forgot how this game went, to be honest. And um, the, sorry for the lack of pictures. Sorry for the short video. It's only a 12-minute video, 13 minutes now. And there goes the second shy ambulance. But um, I promise you guys that the corner hammer video is going to be a little bit longer. I have a lot more to talk about in the corner hammer videos. So guys, uh, look forward to making those. I'll wait till this ambulance goes by. And I will go ahead and come back to my craft of making good videos for you guys to listen. Or bad videos, depending on how you guys look at my videos. But, uh, that being said, I will be making more videos soon. Um, I have more, uh, and not only that, but I'm going to go ahead and start tweaking my list. The Corner Hammer video uh, coming up, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I just... I tweaked my list a little bit, but at, at the same time, um, I didn't put as much thought as it, into it. But now, I'm st after Corner Hammer, I started thinking about what I could really do with the possibility and potential of my list and see what I could do, what I could come up with. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope enjoy making them. And uh, until next time, take care and peace. And guys, if you haven't already, hit like, hit share, hit subscribe, and join my Patreon on uh, the link down below. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.